God is the not other. Nicholas von Cuse, 1401-1464. Nicholas von Cuse belongs to a long tradition of medieval philosophers who attempt to describe the nature of God, stressing how God is unlike anything that the human mind is capable of grasping. Von Cuse begins with the idea that we gain knowledge by using our reason to define things, so in order to know God, he deduces that we must try to define the basic nature of God. Plato describes the good or the one as the ultimate source of all other forms and knowledge, and some early Christian theologians talk of God as above being. Von Cuse, writing around 1440, goes further stating that God is what comes before everything, even before the possibility of something existing. Yet reason tells us the possibility of any phenomenon existing must come before its actual existence. It is impossible for something to come into being before the possibility of it rises. The conclusion that von Kues comes to, therefore, is that something that is said to do this must be described as not other. Beyond Apprehension However, the use of the word thing in the line of reasoning that von Cuse adopts is misleading, as the not other has no substance. It is, according to von Cuse, beyond apprehension, and is before all things in such a way that they are not subsequent to it, but exist through it. For this reason too, von Cuse thinks not other comes closer to a definition of God than any other term. Whatever I know is not God and whatever I conceive is not like God. Nicholas von Cuse. In context, branch, philosophy of religion. Approach, Christian Platonism. Before. 380-360 BCE Plato writes on the good or the one as the ultimate source of reason, knowledge, and all existence. Late 5th century the Greek theologian and philosopher Dionysius the Areopagite describes God as above being. 860 Johannes Scotus Eugene promotes the ideas of Dionysius the Areopagite. After 1492 Giovanni Pico della Mirandola's On Being and the One marks a turning point in Renaissance thinking about God. 1991 French philosopher Jean-Luc Marion explores the theme of God as not her being. 